Hey guys, I'm Carl and this is Carl's Garage brought to you by Straight Edit Content. And today we're installing a speed sensor on my wife's 2016 Toyota Corolla. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've got the wheel off because you're definitely gonna need to do this because this is your speed sensor. So this is it right here. And it's just a little 10 millimeter bolt. And that wire runs all the way up here, all the way here. So you're gonna have to disconnect it from here. And then it runs all the way into the wheel well. And if you can peel it back, see if I can get some light up here. It's gonna be right there. That's where you're right there. Oh, sorry. So that thing right there is where you're gonna disconnect it. You can peel this back. I'm gonna to try to peel this back without having to take all of this off. Um, if you do have to take all of this off to make your job easy, you wanna get yourself a set of these uh, panel removal tools. I'll put a link in the description down below for all these. It's not that, I think it's like 10 bucks or maybe even five bucks to get all these. But I'm gonna try to peel this back as much as I can to get to that. I wanna disconnect it there first because I know all of this is easy. This is just a 10 millimeter bolt. This will come done. And then I think it's another 10 or 12 right there. No, actually, yeah, I think for this whole bracket, but I'm gonna go ahead and start there with the 10 millimeter bolt and unclipping it and then take it out because that's probably gonna be a lot harder than putting it in. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, that's it. Just push this little tab in, slide it out. Now we can start disconnecting it from here all the way down. Let's try to pull this. Okay, so let's see, let's get my tool. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second out from this video to let you guys know that I am having a giveaway sale for Super Clean. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, screenshot it, head on over to my straight out of content Instagram and DM me and send it to me proof that you subscribed, liked, and left a comment. Or you could just leave a comment and say, hey, I'd like to be entered into the uh, sweepstakes in order to win some free super clean products. I'm back finally from COVID and I'm able to start giving out some products from super clean. It's a great company. Check out all my videos that I have on super clean and how we're able to clean a lot of things using super clean. So I just wanted to take a second out of this video and uh, let you guys know about the giveaway. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. Now that I got that one a little bit loose, come back with my little more aggressive tool. I got a little bit of a gap. Boom, got that right out of there. Okay, so now that we got this hanging right here, this is a 10, this is a 15. This bolt over here, that's a 15. It's gonna come all the way down here. Then this right here is a 10. So I'm gonna use this to do all my 10s. I'm gonna use this right here to do all my 15s. Okay, so I got my 10s right here. Everything is really easy. This should take that stupid dash light off. My wife doesn't like it. She's really upset. She says her car's a hoodoo now. She says, babe, I got a hoodoo, all the lights are on the dash. Reminds me of all my old cars, because she bought this car brand new, right off the lot in 2016. She was very proud of herself. So my goal is to just put it back to as close to stock as possible. I'm gonna let this hang because if I take it, it's gonna drop. So I'd rather pull it from here with the last bolt. So I'm gonna go over here and do the 10. Apologize for my hand in the way. Ooh. 
take this off by hand now. And the new one should come with its own bolt, just in case if it doesn't, I'll put it to the side, but it should come with its own bolt. And the last one is this big old 15. Careful, I'll just cut myself. Yeah, so my wife, I'm just trying to put the car back together for my wife so that she's not sad anymore. She's pretty upset about all the, the tire pressure light is on, the oil change light is on, and um, I'll, just put, I'll just leave this right here. Take this off. See, it comes off. And then there's only this little tiny clip thing right here. Got that, unclip this, slide this out. I didn't want to take the whole thing out. It wanted to come out, but I didn't want to take the whole thing out just in case the new one doesn't come with it. And I can raise this on out of here. Here we go. Oh. So this sensor has about 105,000 miles on it. I think it went bad when I was doing all the work with the, um, with the wheel bearing and the knuckle and everything. So make sure if you don't know how to change your wheel bearing, and your knuckle and everything, make sure you go back and uh, check out those videos. But here we go. So what you wanna do, whenever you get a new part, you always wanna make sure that your new part lines up like your old one. So let's go ahead and open the package. Okay, so this is the part number for this one. Again, this is for a 2016 Toyota Corolla. This should work for a 2014 through 2018. Should work. I'm not gonna say it will, but I'm just saying it should work. So whenever we take this out, okay, so this is it right here. Let's go ahead and take this out. Line everything up. Ah, look, it comes with everything. So I can actually, it does actually come with the piece um, that goes right into the, into the strut. So that's awesome. I can take it off, but I didn't know if it did. So we just want to line everything up. Looks the same there. Looks the same right here. Looks like the same connector up there. Okay, because as you guys seen, or if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen in my video where I did my uncle's tail lights, everything looked like it fit. And then what happened, the bulbs didn't end up fitting. And then the connections weren't perfect. And it was a whole bunch of issues, but I had to modify it. this. It doesn't look like I have to modify it. The actual sensor looks correct. This sensor does look beat up. Again, this one has 105,000 miles on it. Everything here matches. Everything here matches. You got this piece right here, which isn't on. Oh, yeah, it is right here for this hole. So that hole's there. That hole's there. And then the connector. So let's go ahead and install it. So just like I thought, it doesn't come with the bolt. So I'm glad I saved the old one down there because the new one does not come with the bolt. So we're going to go ahead and put this in first. Make sure this is all snug because I don't want this waving around while I'm trying to hook up everything over there. So let's go ahead, put this in its place. Okay, so I got everything in. Got the actual sensor in. I didn't tighten this one all the way down. Got it here. Didn't tighten this one all the way down. I tightened this one down to give me some slack. And then all I got to do is just connect these two right here. And um, you want to make sure that whenever you connect these two, you put this clip back in. Um, I took mine out, so you want to make sure that you put it back in so it stays nice and safe. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to jump in the car and see if the light turns off or if I'm able to turn off the uh, traction control. Okay, so everything is in. It's in up there. It's clipped in. Make sure it's tight. Yeah, but this, this piece is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and then I'm gonna jump into the car. We're gonna see if the traction light goes off. I don't think that the car has to be, uh, I think the car just has to be on. I don't think the wheel has to be on or anything, but we'll test it first with the wheel off, see if anything happens, and then we'll test it with the wheel on. So let me go ahead and tighten this up over here, the sensor, so this way it's sitting right, and then uh, we'll jump in the car. All right, I'm in the car, the car's on the ground. I checked it while the car was in the air, but I was, I didn't want to start it while I was like that, so this is actually the first start. I didn't know if I was supposed to remove the negative battery cable. 
I might have to do that. That is the light that continues to come on whenever I push the off button. Maybe I need to drop. Sorry about that. Every time I jump in the Toyota, it connects to the Bluetooth. But with that being said, it hasn't come off, but I assume maybe I need to drive with it or turn off the negative battery cable or unplug the negative battery cable for about five minutes, let the computer reset and see if that goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm back in the car. I'm about to go take the car to go get um, air in the tires. I don't know if you know, but my local Lowe's actually allows, uh, they have a free air pump outside, so it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go head over there because these front tires need air. I just connected the battery, negative battery terminal after taking it off for about five minutes. Looks like that didn't solve anything. I might need to either drive it or have the code cleared. Because that's directly related to this and it's not turning on or off. So I'm thinking either I have to drive it a certain amount of miles and it'll go off or I have to have it cleared. You see, everything is restarting. You even seen the start from the car was kind of rough. These mosquitoes in here are getting crazy. Let's try to start it again, make sure there's no issues. Okay, there's no issues. Okay, let me drive it and then let's see what happens. All right guys, so I've been doing some research and I think it's the button. The reason why I think it's the button is because no matter what I did, it didn't want to, it wasn't sending a signal to the light. I'm pretty, and I, there's only one video on all of YouTube about this button and this year model Toyota. Every other Toyota video is about sticking a paper clip and the connector down there to reset your light. Now, I, I know that you can do this with a proper scanner and I know that you can turn that light off if you go to the dealership, but I want to see if I can figure out this issue. And I think that it might have came on because I think the light came on and stayed on because of one of the sensors, one of the speed sensors was faulty. The only one that I ever messed with was the one over there. I did mess with the one over here, but at the very least, this button should be doing something and it's not. So I'm going to price this button and then I'm going to make a separate video uh, to see if this is it. But I want to go... I don't have the right connectors. I don't think I have an ohm meter thing. I think I do, but I need to test to see how to test this to see if this button is actually working or not. So I will do that in the next video, but that's the end of this video. I did successfully change the TP, I mean the speed sensor. But as you can see, the light is still on. But this does go wrong. This does go bad. As you can see, it's really gunky and disgusting in there. And it's really nasty. You can see all the gook and grime and stuff like that. So I took this out to see if something would change with this light and it didn't. So I'm, I think it's this, but we're going to find out in the next video. So thank you guys for tuning in to this one and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace. <laughs>